Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I've got a different video, something I've not done on my channel before, but I was quizzing to myself, what can I do? Because I don't want to just fill my channel up just because. So I went onto the Feel Unique uh, Pick a Mix website. I haven't picked my Pick a Mix yet because there wasn't anything I wanted. Uh, there wasn't. It wasn't a really good month, but I haven't seen anything that's gone, oh, I have to get that. So if there is, I'll keep looking for it the month and I will but get a pick a mix. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd do this. So today's video is, what's in my makeup bag? Now, I like to do these because, well, I want to do this because I like watching videos and I'm a bit nosy and I like to see what people are using. Now, I call this my capsule makeup bag. So what I mean by that is, um, it's got everything I need for full face makeup and if I've got to suddenly pack my stuff and grab and go, while well, I'm, you know, I've got somewhere to go, I can just get it and go. Um, I do alternate products depending, I have got makeup tools, but I do sort of kind of use the same thing. Uh, I do alternate as much as I can, like mascaras and eyeliners and other things like that. So my bag is from um, Oliver Bonus. I got this, goodness me, ages ago uh, when I was in London. And it's a great bag. It looks super small. I don't know if you can still get these, um, but I will see. I'll link them down below. I wash it, I use other makeup bags as well, um, but I really like how this opens, so yeah. It's quite a large bag as well, like it really it fits a lot. I really like how it's made. Um, my cat's sort of in that 20 minutes, so yeah. Um, so let's just dive straight into it. Um, we'll start off with base. I know uh, my makeup is very mixed. It is drugstore, mainly drugstore. Um, I have my high-end makeup that I use for when I'm going out or I want to feel fancy. That's what I tend to use. So in this, there's not really anything hugely I am high-end. <laughs> so base-wise, I don't use a primer uh, because I've got dry skin. Um, I, sometimes I do if I'm like wearing a lot of heavy makeup, but I don't use primers day to day. What I've been using is the L'Oreal True Match Spreadable Foundation in the shade Ivy, and I have spoken about this before. I do add some darkening drops into this because I find this is, is a touch light, but it's only like one drop um, of the Body Shop darkening drops, but that's what I use on my face. Um, and concealer, it's gonna be quite a quick video. I mean, I don't really, I've never done something like this before. So if you want a more in depth or if you want me to show you a full face makeup, I can give that a go. Um, I'm just working to it. So my concealer that I use, um, I only use here just to cover my dark circles. I put it on today, um, is the Miss Sporty, it's not for fancy, it's the Miss Sporty Perfect 10 it's perfect today 10 hour liquid concealer. This is about 2 dollars Sorry about the horrible label. It's just a Dofamar, Dofamar, no, Dofa applicator. It's, it's a basic one. Um, I don't use this here because I do find it collects. Um, and I don't use this for spot concealing, but I can use it for spot concealing. Uh, but I find this is great. It does not last 10 hours. But for me, every day is good. Um, and I do like the L'Oreal True Match concealer, but the one I've got is for when I'm tanned. That has a similar consistency, maybe a bit more watery, but really good. Powder, so the powder that I use, if you watch my last bit, my, a couple of videos ago, I did mention that I really like miniature powders. They're my thing. Um, or, and I did mention the Makeup Forever one. Now this one in here is the Makeup Forever, um, but I do refill it uh, with whatever loose powder I've got, just because it's so small. And when I when I am actually at home, I do use this one, or I use a slightly bigger one, like I use um, the New By Nature one, but I didn't want to feature it in this because I have been featuring it quite a bit. So the one that I like is the Ultra HD Makeup Forever Loose Powder. This is like a rice powder, it's very lightweight. This is a little one gram. I got it from like the latest in beauty or something like that. And it's really handy. Next, um, so the 
contour pack I've got is the Freedom Pro, Co Pro, Pro Contour Kit. I do use um, different things, um, but this is one I just got in there because it's got a really good mirror in it. It's very dirty, so, well. It's got a really, really big mirror in it. So yeah, it's a really warm contour. I don't use it as a contour necessarily. I use a very big brush. Uh, I think I use the Real Techniques powder brush and I use it here as a bronzer, but I do chisel a little bit. And it's really good, it's a nice, it's, it's just a basic one, it's really good. And then for blush and highlight, I'm gonna mention these together because they kind of are together. Um, I use the Essence Matte Touch Blush and I really like the Essence, I really love Essence makeup in fact. Their nail varnishes are really good, their lipsticks are really good. Um, I've not tried any of their eyeshadows, but they're cheap, they're cheerful, and they do the job. So, um, any swatches of these will be on my blog as well, by the way. We'll try to insert pictures, but this is a really basic blush. I've had this for like, maybe four, five, six months already, um, and it has a 12 month shelf, shelf life on it, and it's 10-0 Peach Me Up, and it's so pretty. Like, it uses it every day or whatever, and it's brilliant. And it's so pigmented, like, it's, it's just a corally pinky blush. And then, um, you would have seen this, it's the Mary Lou, Mary, Mary Lou Manualizer Luminizer. And I got this in the Feel Unique Pick and Mix a few months ago. Really like that, really like how small it is. Um, because it just really slots into it in my bag really quite easily. Um, another really good one is the Primark Radiant Glow. It's a bit like an ambient powder, it's really good. I do use that if I'm at home. So that's that. I feel like I have quite a lot of makeup, but whatever. Obviously, I have my rose gold eyelash curlers, which are very clean. I clean specifically for this video. Uh, they're just from Primark. I think they were like two pounds or something. Um, and brows. See, brows for me is a funny thing. Um, obviously, I've got a microblade on and they are healing now and all the scabbing's coming off and they will fade and then hopefully come back. Um, basically, in a nutshell, I shouldn't really say this because it's going to be my microblading video, but I get my eyebrows microbladed and I've had to have it done four times now. Um, the brown pigments are coming pinky on me, I don't know why, my skin's just been really stupid. It's either not working or they're really pink and they fade super quick. I think with microblading you have it done once, you have a top up and then that's sort of kind of it for 12 months, maybe more. Um, but my skin's not been playing ball, so I've actually got black pigment in my eyebrows at the moment. So, in between that, I have been having to fill my eyebrows in just to touch, like nothing carved or anything like that. So I've been using Tanya Burr Selfie Sculpt. Now I picked this up in Superdrug and I think it was like 99p. I'm not sure if it was meant to be 99p or whether she, my Superdrug was discontinuing it because they discontinued the Colag Shampoo but you can still get it on the website. I'm unsure why. But on one end it's got, and now I've got a really odd shade because I think mine's blonde. <sighs> I took the shade off, that's brilliant. So I think mine is blonde. And it's angled, it's really good, it's really soft, it's quite a warm brand. I mean, if I push quite hard, I can get a nice, it's very light, you can't even see that, but I can push quite hard and it's really good. Really soft, really creamy, and looks really good too. And on the other end, it's a little spoolie. I really like this. It reminds me of um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, so really like this Tanya Burr, the packaging is beautiful. So that's that. Um, I have a small cat next to the camera, so hopefully it doesn't fall. <laughs> um, and for sort of, um, this is a mixed product. Now this is really battered because I love it. It's the Collection Gorgeous Glow um, Bronzing Block. Uh, it's a bit like the Body Shop one, and it can be used everywhere. Um, yeah, I really love it. Um, now, this is shimmery and beautiful and pretty. The lid's battered. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. 
And I use this for eyeshadow. Sometimes I don't have an eyeshadow palette in here. I use this for highlight. I use this even for bronzer. And I also mix them all together. I want a nice colour. So it's a really versatile product. I use the brown in my crease sometimes. It's really like really good for that. And uh, last few items, basic items really. I mean, you can see how deep this is. I'm gonna pull these out today. Look how deep that bag is. It's huge. Like next item is mascara and eyeliner. I'll just do these two together. I've spoke about this loads. So my favorite mascara is the Clinique High Impact Waterproof Mas. No not waterproof high impact mascara um this is a sample but i really love it it's a mini actually it's not a sample really good really black really good for my lashes not too wet not too dry and i've just got a basic eyeliner in here i do use the l'oreal one it's a no the rimmel one and it smudges so good because on the days i don't really want to put a lot of makeup on in the evening i literally just smudge smudge get the end of the brush and smudge and I, i'll put a picture on the screen of the eyeliner but it's really good for a really sultry quick look but i just got this in here i don't really use it that often it's the models co black eyeliner pencil i think i got this in a magazine i can't even remember basic black really really pigmented actually and you can smudge this it does smudge out quite well too so that's good it's basic eyeliner like just what you need, just in case I have a moment arises where I have to like amp up my look from day to night. I don't take this in my camera bag, but I mean, you know, whatever. And um, my favourite palette at the moment is uh, I bought this off Lauren Rose um, a while ago, one of my blogger friends. Hi. <laughs> and um, it's the number seven glamorous nude eye palette. Firstly, packaging, gorgeous, love it. I just, I just think it's beautiful. And I don't know if you can still get this or not. Excuse the dirty mirror. Comes with a little brush. And I don't really use that little brush. It's just in there in case I haven't got brushes. I do take brushes with me if I'm gonna grab and go. But they're just on my dressing table and I can grab them. But the colors in this is so different. Um, haven't worn the purples yet, but I want to. Uh, but I mainly, I mainly use these four here these quads here on this side the colors are really good they're really buttery mirrors really big in it which is great um because i like to get really close when i do my mascara and things um really good I really, like it. really really buttery and gorgeous yeah i've got the embossed um number seven thing in it because i've used it so much some of them come off but yeah Really, really blendable, really buttery, really lovely. I mean, I've, I can do quite a lot of looks with that. So that fits conveniently in my bag, but sometimes I don't have that because I've used it and I've put it away or whatever, or I left it on my dressing table or whatever. Um, so that basically is everything that's in my makeup bag. It's a basic, I think, a basic makeup bag. Not too expensive, some mid-range products. Um, I will talk quickly about my lip products. Now, the thing is for me in lip products, um, I always have loads in my handbag. Um, I have only just been using lip liner and Carmex or something, or the Bliss Lip Balm, because my lips have been split and dry and so on. I've actually got eczema around my lips at the moment, so I can't really use anything. But there's always, always a nude shade in my handbag somewhere, I guarantee it. Um, the ones that I've been picking up lately are Essence lipsticks. Now, the Essence lipstick, this is in 11 Nude Love. I know they have one which is a dupe for Velvet Teddy. That's why I went and thought I had to get these. And it's brilliant. I mean, you see how much I've used that. It's a beautiful nude colour. It's a bit more of a warmer nude colour. I think it's great how everyone's lipsticks are different, don't you? So it's, it's that one there. It's a corally not really nude it's more of a pinky nude it's really nice if you can see that and then the other one is again a nude because I love nude I just I do wear darker colors but I just love a good nude I just like easy makeup um, the day for more applicator on this looks really bizarre I don't know why but it's the L'Oreal um, palette I think it maybe I don't know I'll put it on the screen 
and it's a 601 nude ballet. It's a gloss, but it's not. It's more, it's a bit like the NYX butter cream things. Don't even know what's going on with the Zofra but that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. Again, they're quite similar colours actually. I wear peachy nudes, medium nudes, really dark nudes, and I also wear one by any way that looks like I'm dead. It's brilliant. So got that one there. But I do love a nude. Um, so that's it basically. Um, regards to lips, I only really use nudes. <laughs> I'm a bit boring. I love brown makeup, greens, darks. Um, and that's my kind of jam really. Um, so yeah, I'd love to know what you've got in your makeup bag. Um, I might do what's in my travel bag next, I'm not too sure. Um, maybe by the time you see this, my hair might be different. I'm having a cut on Friday and then I'm changing my colour at the end of the month. Um, I am going to comment comment at the end of the month, so I might vlog it. Um, it may be silly little clips here and there, but yeah. I'm going to direct some Comic Con with my partner, so I might vlog that. That's on the 22nd. But yeah, thanks for watching my video and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!